and then Mother Great Suniti directed him towards Paris where the century person can guide him on the path of self-realization. And his determination was so great that Narada appeared by the divine arrangement and Guru Maharaj got it perfect. Next eleven chapter is Prithu Maharaj who fulfilled everybody's desire. So the next eleven chapter is that subject matter. And the last eight chapters which we are in is Prachi Vahit delivered by the mercy of Narada and Prachita is the son of Prachi Vahit. So this is the descendant the, the genealogy of Maharaj Prithu, after Maharaj Prithu, his son Ashwabhijay. And after Ashwabhijay, the next son and then Prachin Bani. So this Prachin Bani was in, in one only in Karmakan, sacrifice that for Narada went there. And Prachin Bani has ten sons and their names were they were called Prachitas. So Prajin Pandit as a king asked his sons to rule the kingdom and begin progeny. But before that he said you go and do tapasya, do the austerity and purify your mind and senses. Sri Prabhupada has commented that kings were advised in those days before ruling to do tapasya and they should tolerate difficulties and they must purify their senses before they rule. Otherwise, in the palace, they will, uh, they, will have, they will have all the facilities for self-sacred and they will never be good rulers. So as a father, he advised them to go and first do tapasya <coughs> and purify yourself. And then they left and they obeyed the order of father. They took the order of father on head, silver. And that has pleased Lord Shiva. When we follow the authorities, superior authorities, even if this is considered tapasya in Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita, the tapasya of the body is to worship Dev, Dweja, Guru, Pragya, Pujanam, the Supreme Lord, Brahmins, elderly mother, father, and their orders to be followed sincerely. That will please the devotees and supreme. So these Prachitas they left the kingdom and on the way at a beautiful, peaceful reservoir of water which was peaceful because it was deep, like a mind of a devotee. Because he is a dead, therefore he is peaceful. They heard some musical sound and singing and they stopped there and Lord Shiva on his own came out. And Lord Shiva is number one, he is one of the twelve Mahajans. Shambhu Kapila also. Shambhu is one of the Mahajans. Number two, he is Vaishnava Yata Shambhu. Three, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says Rudra Shankaras Chasmi. He is a special opponent of Supreme Lord. And he is mercifully disposed. And he loves the devotee of the Supreme Lord. And therefore he on his own appeared there. And then to the Prachetas who were on the way for self-realization, he said, you, you now hear the song I am singing. So who is this sing who is singing this song? Lord Shiva. Therefore this song is called Rudra Geet. Rudra Geet. And this is a very elaborate song and heavy four sections in the psalm. Psalm has four divisions. In the first part of the psalm, Lord Shiva is offering obeisance to the Supreme Lord in the Chaturvyu. And what is the Chaturvyu of the Supreme Lord? Anirudha, Pradyumna, Sankrashana, Vasudev. So he is offering his obeisance to the Chaturvyu particularly and to the Supreme Lord. Second section, of the Rudra Geet on the sound sung by Lord Shiva to the Prachetas for God realization is description of beautiful 
one of the Supreme Lord. Though the followers of the Lord Shiva, they are impersonal, they claim to be the Lord Shiva, we really describe the worship, the prayers for the form of the Supreme Lord, say like like the moons of cloud, colorful arms, beautiful. All the beauty of the Supreme Lord he has described in over ten verses. Third part of the prayer of Lord Shiva is most important association of the devotees is the only way that can help us to render service to the Supreme Lord and bhakti can only be helped by the mercy of devotees. And the fourth part of the song is benediction. Whoever recites or hears this song will get benediction of self-realization. So we are into the third part of the Buddha Gita, where the association of devotee is recommended by Lord Shiva, the greatest devotee. Here it is very important to understand even after the darshan of Supreme Lord, darshan means direct meeting Supreme Lord, devotion, the association of devotee is, is still most important after that. That is repeatedly we can see in Prabhupada. After the darshan of Supreme Lord, after the direct Meeting the Supreme Lord, association of devotees, very essential and important. This, this phenomenon in Bhagavatam is repeatedly we have to hear. So, yesterday very nicely, uh, His Holiness Prabhupada Saswati Maharaj has described the Fraction of a moment association of the devotee is far better than heavenly, heavenly prayers. Ardha, Ardha Eka. This was the yesterday's verse. Now, what that association will do when we associate with devotees, even for Chanartha. A fraction of movement. Whose association? Bhakta Sanghi Sangasya. Bhagavata Sanghi Sangasya. Those who are associate of Supreme Lord. Those who are great devotees to the Supreme Lord. 24 hours engaged in the service of the Supreme Lord. Their association for a moment is far better than any benediction given by the demigods or Swarabhok or anything. Then what that, what that association will make transformation in a person who associates with devotee, that is described in this verse. Okay, can we read this verse now? This verse is spoken by Lord Shiva. He is, not, he is reciting this verse himself and Prachetas are hearing this verse. At the back of that uh, deep desire, reservoir of water. And after this, Prachetas will follow this. And then they will give the direct darshan of Lord Vishnu. And after getting the direct darshan of Lord Vishnu, they will come back to the kingdom of their father and they will become angry. And then they then, in the end, they need again the association of Narad Rishi. And then they will be actually again go back to the path of self realization This is the sequence. So let us read this word. Atha Ananga Angreya Tava Kirti Tirthayo Asia. 
Adjective is ananga, it means which destroy all the sins and bring all auspiciousness. Tava, Tava. you are kirti. Reactions. 
the another, another place large uh, lotus feet is compared to Bajwara Bajahure Mana Sri Nanda Nanda Abhay Charanana Vindari The lotus feet of God will give fearlessness and who will be fearless? One who has never to be free from sin. Person who is only fearless is the one who is free from sins. No sense, no fear. Sense is cause of the fear. If there is some sin in the eye, always there will be fear. The another example of lotus feet of the Lord, again sung by the same Lord Shiva and Brahma and other before the appearance of Lord Krishna in the prison house of Kansa, where they also say, Your lotus feet are both. Tavapada Potena. Your lotus feet are both to cross this material ocean. But who have used that boat? Tavapada Potena Mahatakutena. Devotees, great devotees. They purify themselves by serving your lotus feet and they make your lotus feet as a boat and let and give the opportunity for anybody to cross this material ocean. So then what will do? What will they do with that boat? They leave the boat behind. The process of devotional service. And anybody who wants to cross that, he can use that boat again. So and those who disrespect Angri, the lotus feet of Supreme Lord, this, this again sung by Sam Brahmaji and Lord Shiva. Those who disrespect Anadrata Tava Angri, those who disrespect your lotus feet, even though they may be highly elevated in spiritual realization, although they are falling down, they will fall down. So devotees, the good devotee we should associate not to us telling the one by serving the lotus feet of Supreme Lord has purified his heart, mind. And what is the symptom of the one who has purified his mind and heart? He is compassionate, mercifully disposed to all living entities. That is the symptom of a person who has purified his heart. He has a compassion and mercy. He cannot see the suffering of the normal, common living beings. He cannot see the suffering. Just imagine how I blended at Boston Harbor, he looked around and he saw the prosperous, prosperous, very exalted America and he looked and said, these people are suffering in mode of patient and ignorance. The whole world thing they are enjoying, but the pure devotees see they are suffering. They are in need. They are mesh of mode of ignorance and mode of passion. They are, and they are suffering. How, how they can be saved? And the only process to save them is the message of Srimad Bhagavatam. And the last message of Srimad Bhagavatam is Nama Sankirtana Yasya Sarva Papa Pranashana. That is the last verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, 12th century. Nama Sankirtan, that will actually purify the existence. So, benediction, Lord like Shiva is asking association of the devotees. The devotees which have served your lotus feet and they have purified their mind and heart. And such devotees are very mercifully disposed and they have a compassion for conditioned souls. Their association will transform anybody who come in contact with such devotee even for a fraction of a moment. So commentary by Srila Prabhupada. 
So in this verse, there's a one word, Tirath, Tirath Yoga. And this word is translated as water of river Ganges. So why the water of river Ganges is so much glorified? Because it has washed the lotus feet of Lord Vamante. The another name of river Ganges is Vishnu Padi. Vishnu Padi which is coming down after washing the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. And this is Brahma Dravya. This water is not ordinary water. It is Brahma Dravya. And it is washing the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord. And it is first taken by the Lord, Lord Brahma in his water container Karmandal. And then it was accepted by Lord Shiva on his yeah. Then the mother descended onto this earth. So the Ganges water is celebrated as being able to eradicate all kinds of sinful reactions. Very interesting. But so many people going in their high speed motors to the Haridwar to take part in Ganga. Are there all sins eradicated? Hmm? Very interesting question. Question asked by Parvati to Lord Shankar. That it is said that whoever takes part in Ganges will have Ganges will have many Ashwamed uh, say uh, Yagya work of benediction. That's right, but that's what we proper consciousness of taking part in countries. So Lord Shiva and Parvati, Shiva become an old Brahman with uh, leprosy. And Parvati is a beautiful woman sitting next to the Shiva. And whoever were going on the way to the Ganges, you are asking, are you going to take Ganga bath? Yes, and you will get the uh, benefit of uh, Ashwamedhi again? So yes. So my husband will be cured by uh, the, if you give that fruit of your birth to my husband, then he will be cured. He said, what you will do with this husband? See, I am so beautiful, why don't you come with me? And everybody was going like that. And after some time, one person came from five kilometers walking by foot. And Mother Parvati requested him. He said, yes, Mother, I'm going to take bath and will come back and offer all the fruits of my taking bath to you. And he did that. And Lord Shiva become literally in front of them, cured. And then Lord Shiva uh, laughing and then smiling to Parvati. Do you think how many of them will get the benediction of Sinatra Ganga They are going towards Ganga. They had a proper consciousness for the Ganga. Are they meditating that the Ganga is coming from the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord? Proper consciousness is most important. Going as a picnic to the Haridwar will not purify the sins. Ganga is powerful, but your consciousness is polluted. First, we should have proper respect. Even if we don't have proper respect for the sadhu and not have a humble, disposition towards the sadhu, then there will be no benefit. Cow has puddles which give milk. The calf, when go near to the cow, he gets milk. But right on that same water there is big milk, blood sucker insect. You know that? What is that part? Some kind of jaw, we call it jaw. Something like small leech sitting at the same place but getting blood out of that. And cow is getting milk and the leech is getting blood. Same place. So same place is Ganga. But there are people they are doing sinful activities there and there are people they are purifying there. This Vrindavan is not different from Krishna. It is the Here 
also there are great devotees like Sarkar Goswami is lived there and you will see lot of division here also. The lot of devotion and lot of division both are in front of your eyes. It is not that. So it is the consciousness when we go to take bath, we should go down. How many people are going when they are going for bath in Ganga? Have you seen how many people are going down to the Ganga? Hardly less than one person. First consciousness. Then you meditate on Ganga. That Mother Ganga, you have washed the lotus feet of Supreme Lord. You are, you have placed Brahmaji. You have, you have appeared on the head of Lord Shiva. You are here to deliver us. I am taking part to get myself purified. Here is some mantra. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he came here for Jamuna Sna, he chanted Jamuna glories and then he took bath. So how many people are taking bath in Ganga with this proper consciousness? Very less. So Ganga water is very fine, but consciousness is necessary. In other words, when a person takes his bath in the Ganges, he becomes free from all life's contamination. The Ganges water is celebrated in this way because it emanates from the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of the See another good example, Sam Lord, Vamandev, whose lotus feet Ganges wash. When then Vamandev appeared, at the arena of Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj personally washed the lotus feet of Vamandev. And he drank that water and put on his head. This is more than powerful than Ganges because that water of Ganges is coming from Brahmani Shankar and then he got direct water from that same lotus feet. And then he is the one of the great devotees, Bali Maharaj. Where Lord is standing in front of his door as giving you darshan all the time, he said not to go for darshan anywhere. He was so fortunate to get that same water of the same lotus feet washed by himself. So similarly, similarly means like Ganges water, which purify because it is washing the lotus feet of Supreme Lord. Similarly, those who are directly in touch with the lotus feet of Supreme Personality of the Godhead. Ah, when somebody read this, he said, one personality which is always in touch with the lotus feet of Supreme Lord is Lakshmi and we want to each other Lakshmi. But so yeah, that's it. <laughs> So remember, my dear friends, the Lakshmi has two carriers. The Lakshmi, which is always serving the lotus feet of Narayan, when he comes with Narayan, she is coming on Garuda. And from the wings of the Garuda, always there is Vedic hymns sounding. But when you need a Lakshmi without Narayan, she has a carrier called Aul. What? And that Lakshmi will make you Aul. <laughs> what is called in the Ullu Kapatka? <laughs> because you cannot distinguish between day and night. Yeah. The night yeah. it's Aul cannot uh, that sun, no it is God. So that Lakshmi will destroy you completely. And that Lakshmi is rightly called in one language, Daulat. You know Daulat? Daulat means two kicks. Do means two and La, la means kick. The first kick is on the bed. And when that Lakshmi comes, people want to just walk like this. Nobody is equal to him. And then the, that Lakshmi leaves, he will give a kick and he The so second kick will finish everything. So there, having the lotus feet, Lakshmi will bless you if it comes with Narayana. Only you want.
Bhagavan Lakshmi Prabhupada used to say it is like Ravan taking his Sita and getting inviting description of the golden Raka. So make sure this statement don't take in context. <laughs> Somebody says we are also worshipping the devotee who is sucking the lotus feet of Lord Ardhi and Lakshmi Puja. The Baba Lakshmi Narayan Puja is better. That Lakshmi will never go. If you have only Lakshmi, she is very chanchal. Thai Lakshmi is only with the lotus feet of Narayan. So, similarly, those who are directly in touch with the lotus feet of Supreme Prasad regarded and who are absorbed in the chanting of his glories, Kirti, Kirti, glories, are free from all material contaminations. They are in touch with the Supreme Lord's Lotus Feet and they are always singing his glories. They are called Mahatmas. They are under the protection of divine energy. Mahatma, Nastuman, Paratha, Devim, Prakriti Mahashita. What is the qualification of those Mahatmas? Sadatam, Kirtanayam, Tomam. They are always doing by Kirtan. They are these Mahatma. Always doing Sadatam, Kirtanayam, Tomam. But still, Yatatam, Shadranavarta. But still, they are very careful. Yata, Yata means very careful. And they take vows that I will not do this. I will always change my rounds. I will always hear Bhagavatam class. I will always associate with They take vows like that. Dhrnakarta, Namaste, Namaste, Maam, Nitya. They every day come and go down before me. Namaste, 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 Maam, Nitya. Then you will always be infected. You stay in the temple, you are free. So you stay in the temple. So these devotees, such unalloyed devotees are able to show mercy to common conditions so. Now Shiva Vrindavandas Thakur has sung that the devotees of Lord Chaitanya are so powerful that each one of them can deliver a universe. Each one of them, one of them can deliver a universe. So once one devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his name is Vasudeva Tattva, he approached to the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he begged, Mahaprabhu, I cannot see the suffering of all these people. I request you, please request Krishna to to give their all sinful reaction, I will carry on my head and suffer in the hell and let all them be delivered. This was a request of Vasudeva. And Sri Prabhupada has written in the Purpura, Vasudeva or any devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is far more merciful than Jesus Christ. You go to the Jesus Christ, then he will take your sins. But here is the devotee, without asking, is ready to take everybody's sin. How merciful is that? And then what is the answer given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Ashtarya Nahi, this is not astonishing. You are a Sakshat Pranad. You are Pranad. Pranad is such a devotee. When Narsina then said, please come with me to the airport, he said, that is all right, but where all these my demon rascals, how can they be delivered? If they are not delivered, I will not go. So Vasudeva Dhanasana, when said like this, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then for us. A Samarth Nahi Krishna, Krishna is not. 
He is able to do anything. Why should he allow you to suffer? Only one business Krishna has. Krishna has only one business. What is that business? Bhakta Vancha Puri Kare. Devotee desire and Krishna fulfill that desire. This is only the business Krishna has. He has no other business. Then for Vasudev, if you desire the death, then the people become devotees, they become Vaishnava, and they will automatically be delivered. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, This one universe for Krishna is like one mustard seed. One speck of dust. If, 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 if in your kitchen one mustard seed ever falls, you are worried about that? A child has a full fish no? of the sand and one grain of sand fall down as any, any last. So Krishna can deliver one universe. There is no last for Krishna. There is no problem for Krishna. So each one devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can deliver the whole universe. You may look a little beyond our understanding, but we know Srila Prabhupada is one devotee in the line of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he has delivered the whole world or not. He has given the opportunity to the whole world. He has given the opportunity to the whole world or not. It is very practical, we can see in our own lifetimes. In all this smaller time, he has given the opportunity to the whole world. Otherwise, Bhagavatam has a worse. That devotee with the Gayanti, Nartyanti, the one who is singing with hands up, dancing with tears in the eyes, here ends on the end. Such devotee, Punati, Bhuvanam, he can purify the whole universe. That is the words from Bhagavatam. Gayanti, Gayanti, Nartyanti, Gayanti, Gayanti. Punati, Bhuvanam, such devotee can purify the whole universe. One devotee can purify the whole universe. Such pure devotee has that potency. They can purify the whole universe. Yes, this is possible. Gaur Shakti Vira Nahi Parivartam. Without the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there will be no transformation in the contaminated heart of the people. It is only the God of mercy. It is only the currency for Kalidu. You may have the note, you may have the currency of the Satya Yuga, but you go and market, you will not be able to buy anything. The currency of Kalidu is Nam Sankirtan. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This is only the way, practically speaking. We have to understand how only that it is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy which will really help us. Now the last few lines. In other words, it is the business of the devotee to preach the glory of the Lord and deliver the conditioned soul to the great form of this line is very important. To the great form of Shuddha Sattva, pure goodness. So, preaching of such devotee will bring to the stage of Shuddha Sattva, beyond material goodness. Here the word Su Sattva means Shuddha Sattva in this verse. There is a word Su Sattva. Their association will help us to transcend the three modes of material nature. Bring us to Shuddha Sattva. Vasudeva Sabatya Sabdhyanate Shuddha Sattva When one is in Shuddha Sattva Then within his heart Vasudeva appears Then within his heart Krishna appears Then instead One will get if he associates with such devotees Here the word Shuddha Sattva means Shuddha Sattva The transcendent state beyond material goodness By this exemplary prayer Lord Shiva teaches us that our best course is, our best course is to take shelter, is to take shelter of Vishnu and his Vaishnava devotees. So, for us the message of Lord Shiva is, Lord Shiva 
as I told you, he is Mahajan, but he has also a one Vaishnava Sampradaya. So he is bona fide in any, any way, and his spirit, if ever some will give the benediction of self realization. So we should, what Lord Shiva is suggesting us, we should take the shelter of devotees of Supreme God. The devotees who are fully engaged in the service of Supreme God. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Any question or comment? Hare Krishna. Why do you if anybody cuts you, I'm not responsible. You put some time. <laughs> so we have to explain about Mother Ganga. That one should take bath in proper consciousness, then he will be benefited. But sometimes we hear also, even if you don't have a proper consciousness, you just associate or you just say, let us say, in Vrindavan or take bath, you get benefit. So is, is that somebody will not get at all benefit or? Some benefits will be there. Can you put the can you put the questions? Question. Question is some benefit will be there if we take part in Ganga. Even though we may have proper or not. Yes, Ganga will act. But if you put the weight wood in the fire, will there be fire? But what it means fire has no power? Fire has power, but the wood is too big. What will happen to the weight wood? It will simply become a little more flat. But actually some water is disappeared from the wood. It will dry quickly. So there will be effect, but not seen by outside. There will be effect, but Ganga is powerful. If our consciousness is less than a mode of ignorance, after drinking in the night, in the morning, going to take, that's what I said. If you want the one part of the wine, with the wine, there is purification. This is what I said in Bible. Huh? If you wash the part of wine by wine, will it be clean? No. So consciousness is most important. There will be a take, but it will take a long time. It will take a long time. The process will be little lengthy. We don't have much time. So it is better to give this one life to Krishna and his devotees. Many life we have enjoyed. Now forget that. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Gurdrashima Bhagavatam Nikashira Prabhupada. Jaya. Hare Krishna.